there guys so um, what I'm doing here now is uh, actually solvent welding these pipes together uh, putting all the bits together so um, make all the uh, feed water into the tanks I've already done some but uh, you know, obviously I'm doing a little bit more at the moment so these are the ball valves then two more ball valves here which will go on the tanks um, and then feed down to those um, using uh, normal solvent weld so Wix solvent cement uh, just to glue all the plastic PVC together. Right, so um, I've solvent welded all the pipes now. I've got the uh, two bulkheads in for the 240s will be there and there, as one is already. Um, so solvent welded all the way through, run it down there over towards the sump. So these two tubs here are going to act as my sump. Uh, first one I'm going to have the mechanical uh, media and then dripping into uh, the uh, K1 coolness and then the second tub is purely, purely going to be water, pump and heater so uh, that's going to flow through there so I'm going to put some pipe between the two and uh, basically that will be how the water flows through um, also got feed pipes and waste pipe there that's going to, I'm going to be putting a sink in here as well um, but obviously I've got a feed pipe there so eventually I'm going to run that to there so I can do automatic top ups as well uh, which would be awesome um, but as you can see it's uh, really coming on nicely so 125 is going to go in there obviously as I said before the 2240s and the 180s are already in situ so they're going to be my uh, breeding tanks that's why I've got sand in the bottom uh, to give them a, a way of nesting uh, and the rest are going to be bare bottom tanks because they're going to be my grow out tanks and my fry tanks so uh, that's what they're going to be so uh, yeah it's getting on really well hopefully by the end of the day I'll have the waste in um, uh, so I actually start cycling some water through it and testing doing some water tests uh, so that's my aim to get uh, the waste pipes in and uh, be good to go thanks for watching so this is uh, what I'm using for my uh, lids to my aquarium so it's uh, just roofing glazing sheet it's uh, this double thickness um, polycarbonate roofing uh, which is really good um, so I've got a bend um, it's really cheap for, for a sheet of that it's about £20 so just, just under £20 for a sheet um, I'll probably get four tank lids out of that so let me just show you what that means so right so uh, this is what I've been using uh, to create my lids so I've just been doing that today as well so this is polycarbonate roofing it's the twin panel one so nice and nice and thick um, it won't bend uh, take quite a lot of weight on that fits nice and snug on top of the tanks and also let light through so I'm going to have LED lights through here um, and on that one as well so all the bottom tanks going to have LED lights and the, the top ones will eventually but um, for now they're going to have normal light fittings um, and then I'll have yeah these polycarbonate uh, panels on as lids um, I'll let a lot of light through there as you can see you can see through the tops of those really well so when they're lit through that'll light the tanks quite nicely keep condensation down it looks smart and minimalist as well um, so yeah really pleased with the way